Good morning, everyone. I'm Lex, your host from Trade Year, and today we have a special episode. My pal Mark is coming to us from Paris, France, and I got to say, Mark, I am going to turn the reins over to you, and I think you're going to interview me about Tradehawk 2.0. Is that the game plan? Yeah, I think we're going to flip the script here because I, this time, have a number of questions for you. Oh, over the, over the past weeks and months, you've been talking about Tradehawk 2.0 and, and this big new thing that's coming next. And so I know our viewers are going to have a lot of questions, too. But I want to you know, ask you about what what is going on here and what can we look forward to? Oh, I love it. OK, so let me start out with, um, you know, what the vision was for 2.0. Right. A uh, long time ago, a few years ago, we created this thing we're calling 1.0. And just for distinguishing sort of marketing material internally, we distinguish the original version of Tradehawk as 1.0. Even though it has a version number that says 2 point something, which is very confusing, I get it. But it's for us to distinguish between the old version and the new version, which is clearly 2.0. So what we've done is we've rebranded the product, okay? When it first came into existence, I would say it, it was a high-end advanced options trader sort of platform. And I know I'm not supposed to say think or swim, but it kind of competed in that range with toss. Okay. It was that kind of activity that you would use this platform for. I would say, you know, from my opinion, it probably had a little bit of an institutional feel, meaning the professional trader world um, kind of had that look and feel. It had that workflow. What we've done with 2.0 is we've taken some of that institutional feel out and made it a lot more, um, I would say, retail friendly. And what does that mean? Well, you know, think you're going to have a lot more intuitive icons to navigate around the platform. Um, people love icons. Pro traders, you know, Mark from our day, we, we like left click, right click. We just knew how to hit key, control keyboards and all that kind of stuff. So this new version, very intuitive, right in front of you. Click a button. It's going to give you a bunch of choices. You choose it and off you go. So that's kind of the vision of, of what we're doing. We're bringing the 2.0 to the level of more the intermediate intermediate trader, options trader, who can now take advantage of the great features that maybe the big pros love to use. And they, they have access to this through 2.0 because I think it's going to be a lot easier for them to, to, to work with. Does that all that make sense? That definitely makes sense. And I'll totally second your uh, point there about how Tradehawk feels very much like an institutional product. It looks a lot like the market making tools um, that I used to sit on. And that's very much what I like about it. Um, the, the power and the kind of functionality that you can get in there is incredible. So I've got to ask, is 1.0 going away? Oh, good question. Um, no. So we don't foresee in the, in the, the foreseeable future of sunsetting 1.0. Um, I think you're going to get some folks who, you know, it's like the, your old car. They just don't want to give it up. There are going to be a, a section of people who I say, I just like one point I'm used to it. Don't make it go away. So we won't sunset that for, for any time in the, in the, in the near future at all. Um, I would say that we will not be adding new features to 1.0. Um, well, if there's a bug that pops up, obviously we'll fix bugs, but no new features for 1.0. All of our development efforts go into the new 2.0. Very good. Um, well, I know I'm not alone as a trader like this because you get very comfortable with your software. You don't want any feature to change. You don't want any, you know, the <laughs> screen text down to the font. You know, I don't even like my coffee to be served in a different mug. <laughs> in the morning. So sell me this car. How do you put me in 2.0? What is the feature you're most looking forward to? Um, and what are you most excited about in 2.0? Yeah. So, um, I think it's, it might be a, a series of features. Um, what we're going to do in 2.0 is we're going to take the trader from idea generation, okay, and we're going to have scanning features in 2.0. So you're going to be able to have the system scan certain things that you you obviously set to give you an idea uh, of a trade possibility, okay? So you'll be able to take that idea, analyze it, and what we call that what if uh, mechanism. Follow the course of your trade through our strategy tracker. So you can add and subtract trades. You can do what if measures to it. You can check everything out. And then when you decide to exit, you'll be able to place your exit strategy on your, 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 your trade or trades and let the machine do all the heavy lifting 
that will all live on the back end. So to clarify, you'll be able to input a trade with a certain trigger, let's say condition, if you want. Again, you can all do this by hand if you if you if you love to, but you can put that in and you could append the exit strategy right at the entry point of the trade and leave it in the GTC world so that when you're at the Starbucks on Friday having a frappuccino, your machine, Tradehawk, is watching your positions for you and taking you out and notifying you if you so choose when you're taken out. Um, so, so you're I telling me you're going to make it easier for everyone to take edge out of the market and take dollars out of my pocket. Yeah, I, yeah, we are. It's it, it. You know, we're not sure what we're going to call this new, you know, Robo Trader Hawkeye. You know, we used to call it ADX Trader. Um, but you'll have an inventory of positions, right? We all know what a portfolio page is. And it, it, Mark, you mind if I share my screen real quick? Yeah, please. So in your portfolio page, you have all these positions, right? Now you can see mine on the screen here. There's all kinds of stuff here. You're going to be able to hit one little button, send it to this Hawkeye, this, I don't know what we're going to call it yet, ADX trader. And when you do that, what's going to happen is it's going to manage your exit strategy. Okay. You're, it's over now. You've, you've set up the exit strategy clearly. But now it's going to be managed by your by your platform, okay? And what's important about that is, I don't know how you feel about this. I think you probably feel similar to me. Um, I was it was so easy in the trading day to put a position on. I you just click buttons, you put it on. Wonderful. How do you get out? That was the million dollar question all the time. And unfortunately, getting out and requires some emotion, some logic, some knowledge. Well. We're, we're going to let the trader say, I'm going to push all that emotion and all that logic and all that, that thought to the system, to Tradehawk 2.0, and let it do the work for me because I don't want to get in the way of my exit strategy. Does that all that make sense? That definitely makes sense. And, you know, I'm, I'm very enticed by this. So I've got to ask you a practical question now. Sure. You've sold me on the product. I want to make the move. What do I need to do? I, I've got everything set up in Tradehawk 1.0 that I like. Yep. Are my, is my layout going to move over? How do I transition? Do my positions move? How, how does that all work here? Yeah, great question. So um, if you have a trade or brokerage account, uh, 1.0 and 2.0 uh, collide. Okay, so your positions will uh, seamlessly be pulled over. So if you open 1.0 or 2.0, um, your positions will be viewed on either one uh, as the same. You can put a trade in on 1.0. If it's filled, it will populate 1.0 and 2.0, uh, you know, seamlessly. Okay. Um, layouts, completely different look and feel, right? So if you look at my screen again, sorry, um, this is a feel of, uh, I'll get my thing out of here. This is a look and feel of 2.0. Okay, so here's an option squid. So you can see, you can see the colors. I get my neat little scrolling uh, ticker up top. Now let's bring in uh, 1.0. A lot different, right? So this is the more institutional version. It's a great platform, great features, but just looks a lot different from what we're doing in the 2.0 world. So back to the question, you're going to have to recreate a layout in 2.0. That's a little bit of the head work, uh, you know, headache work, um, and save it. That's it. So, and you can have multiple layouts as well. Um, I think you're going to like the new workflow in 2.0 because every major um, feature has a container. So you can go to charting and then in charting, you can make trades right from the chart and you don't have to ever leave there if you don't want to, right? So there's going to be workflows that exist within containers and they're ultimately going to create um, custom containers where you can just have a blank canvas and just go to town, name a container, and make it your own. Very cool. Yeah. So, so, okay. So now I know I'm very confident I'm going to make more money here. I got to ask the other shoe's going to drop. How's pricing going to be handled? Is 1.0 different than 2.0? How, how, how might that change here? Yeah. So, uh, great question. Um, we are going to keep the pricing the same. I, you know, it, it's, it's still the same pricing. Uh, we like to use that, that subscription model where you pay one fee and you get to uh, trade as many options and stock stocks as you, as you want in the course of a month. So I always like to say, think Netflix, um, you pay your subscription fee. We don't have a per contract charge, meaning a 65 cents or a 35 cents or whatever, when you enroll in a subscription for Tradehawk. Okay. It's one fee per month and you can trade as much as you want. Okay. Um, with, without those, those, uh, those pesky little 
per contract fees. Um, you get 1.0 and 2.0 for the same price. No difference. You can choose between them. You can use both of them at the same time. No difference in price uh, whatsoever. So we, there's no price increase. You don't have to pay twice. None of that happens. Hope that makes sense. Fantastic. That definitely makes sense. And included in all that price, because Tradeoff is a tradier product, right? There's a lot more that comes with it. Yeah. So um, at, at the Tradehawk level, you get obviously the Tradehawk family. Then you get access to what Tradier Brokerage calls its Dash product, which is their web-based platform. Okay. And typically that's that's 10 bucks, but that's not added of 10. You pay the Tradehawk price and you get that plus the Dash product for no extra fee, plus the Tradier mobile, which is in the app store. So you get all those for that Tradehawk price. And since it's all a trade of year product, um, you uh, you have access to the trade of year support staff um, in in Charlotte, and they know this the Tradehawk product very well. Um, and we're you know we help support it too. The trade the Tradehawk people help support it as well. So you you still get all that. Well, I can attest. It's a great team of guys down there. So I, I know you'll be in good hands with them. Um, I have a ton more questions. There's so many more things I want to ask you. Lex, I think we need to do a whole series on all the different features that are coming up here. I love it. Let's do what, let's do that. Um, and then subsequent, uh, episodes, let's, uh, let me go through some of the, the features of Tradehawk and we'll, we'll show it on the screen. That is almost like a how to sort of uh, video. How's that sound? That, that sounds fantastic. You're going to give me a free course right here. I love it. I love it. Well, great, Mark. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the questions. I think, uh, hopefully this clarifies a few things um for the folks and we are so excited about this um another release coming in early march as a footnote so you know go to the tradehawk website go to tradier.com hit the products button hit tradehawk there and you can download both versions right from that website sounds great i've already got them both loaded up on my desktop perfect all right good deal mark well great to see you sounds great lex always good chatting you too